Well, this mosque was built, was open for the public in 1988. And um, since then it was built as a, as a purpose-built building to be a mosque. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس اتقوا أبو حمزة came in and he uh, would say he hijacked the mosque for, even from the committee and kicked everyone out and put himself into the into the place by force by his bodyguards and the people around him the local community as I said during the time of Abu Hamza were, were not coming here uh, even the ones who were coming here, they were like uh, shut up by, by his people. And for that period, uh, for I think it was two, three years or something like that, when he was creating all these problems until the, uh, they said, uh, the, I think the government said, enough is enough. You know, this man has been doing a lot of problems in, in this mosque. So they decided to uh, raid the mosque and kick them out of the mosque and close the mosque for some time where he used to pray outside. And then after some time, uh, after he was uh, taken to prison, his supporters, I think, did dispersed everywhere. Some of them were in prison, some of them uh, have gone somewhere. And then the, the new committee uh, were approached by the, by the charity commission to come and take over. Uh, the mosque was reopened in February 2005 under a new management um, that decided to take uh, a mosque in, 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 the, in, the, in the path of balance and to serve as, um, um, as a centre um, and involved positively in, in local community and around London and the, the, British, the wider British society. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام That the Imam has been, uh, the Imam Ahmed Saad has been, um, he, he was graduated from a greater school in Egypt and he, you know, he is the, is the one who fulfilled the purpose to um, to give the message and to integrate with the, with the local communities and with and, and with the, the British society. My history with this mosque is not that long actually. It's um, a year and a half, a bit more than a year and a half now. One of the first things I, I faced when I came is that the community was uh, the, the the individuals in the community were afraid of the mosque. A lot of people would not come into the mosque simply because they didn't want their names to be associated with this mosque. So I said, let me plan in the, in the first year just to get the trust of people and bring them back to the mosque, putting in their minds and their hearts that this mosque is changing. Now it is not a threat anymore. It is a integrating within the society. It respects the law. And I have put actually very, I would say, strict rules in respecting the law in this country. Uh, I wouldn't allow anyone to violate the law even in a minimal thing. And I told them from the very beginning that I'm very strict in, the, in that regard. So one by one, when people started to realize that the mosque is actually uh, integrating the society, it's given a, a good message, they started to come to the mosque. After years of bad publicity, an open door at the mosque once linked with extremism. Hundreds of people now use this prayer hall every week, but it wasn't always like this. Uh, when I came, the, the attendance was very poor. Um, uh, I would say during the daily prayer, it was only one row or something like that, like 30 people maximum, 20 people. Now Fridays, um, if you come here on a Friday, you will never find a place even on the stairs. Uh, a thousand people at least come for a Friday here. During the month of Ramadan, the four stories building is packed with people throughout the night, not less than 2,500 people do come. A lot of people said, well, we, when we heard that there is a change in the mosque and a new imam is there and stuff like that, and also because of the activities I'm doing outside the mosque here and there, I'm always bringing the name of the mosque with me, with me. so I'm saying, well, I, I'm the imam of this, of this mosque. And as soon as you say Finsbury Park, Finsbury Park Mosque, people say, oh yes, we know that, we know the place. 
but we never knew that you are there or, or there has been a new administration there. So uh, people are coming, once they know and they start to come, they bring new people with them.